Baxter Street. News 4's Caroline Gerhardt is out here with us to share more about what kind of food to donate. Now, Caroline, what does the food bank need the most right now? Maybe it'll never happen. Basics. It's really easy to make sure that you're just giving what we actually need. Of course, any donations are welcome. We want, we want to make sure at News 4 that the food bank is getting what they need to best help Wiregrass families this holiday season. So, like I said, basic. Cooking oil is something that is really easy to pick up at the grocery store and that people can use for a long time and goes a super long way. Peanut butter is also a staple of something to give that it's so easy to grab at the grocery store. It doesn't cost a loss of a lot of money, but there's so much protein in it. It can make so many meals for a family in need. And then things like chicken broth that can be used to make soup and again can be spread out over a lot of different meals. I'm going to take you down to some more of our donation bins. And as you can see, we've already had such an influx of donations this morning. Like you mentioned, Bela, things like cornbread stuffing, box stuffing, any kind of canned non perishable foods. We want to focus Focus on fruits and vegetables. Like Miss Julie mentioned, we want to make sure that not only, pe only these people have food to eat, but that it is nutritious and fueling them to live their lives. We are so excited to be out here and helping the Wiregrass get fed this holiday season. And it's not just food donations, it's monetary donations too. There's so many easy ways to come out and help. I'm going to send things back over to you, Bela. Yeah, Caroline, I'm so glad that you said there's so many easy ways to help guys. That's all it is. It's very easy to come out here and donate. So Caroline, thank you so much for that. And a reminder that we will be out here collecting food and more donations until seven this evening. So you got some time to come